Howdy there. Uh, I wanted to give you a quick demo of QuickCal, um, which is a widget that I created to simplify the event creation process in iCal. So I'll just jump right into it. So this is a portion of an iCal window uh, here for this week. Uh, happy Easter, by the way. Uh, so I'm going to pull up my widget uh, here. So there's QuickCal. And I'm just going to type in just naturally what I do. Um, let me scoot down here so you can see the current time. So I'm just going to type in, you know, tonight I'm going to go to a movie uh, at 8 p.m. Uh, until 10.30 p.m. When I hit enter, you're going to see that iCal instantly, you know, reflected the fact that we created this event. It knows that it's called movie. It knows the exact time. Um, you had a confirmation here. It faded away. It's just there to, uh, you know, until you get comfortable with, with the... The syntax of this it's just so you can see that it is being created correctly without keeping iCal open so I'll, I'll go into a couple more I mean there's a lot of different ways you can you can talk to this thing so I'm gonna say you know quick bite to eat uh, at 7 p.m. Uh, so you know I'm not specifying a day here but it knows you know the next 7 p.m. that comes up it knows that you know that's the one I'm talking about so as you can see now my calendar is filling up for tonight um, so I'm probably going to switch, switch to something else. So, um, so let's let's demonstrate this. So like I'm going to take the day off on Wednesday. So day off on Wednesday. Um, as you can see now, it figured out that it's an all day event because I didn't specify any times. Uh, and then the day off thing is up here, and you got the, you know that's that's on your all day event. You can also specify instead of like you know. Uh, 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 instead of like a start and end time, you could put durations. So I'll say lunch on 327. Yes, we also accept uh, specifying dates as actual dates, and you can do shorthand too if you want. But um, so I just want to show us lunch on 327 from noon uh, for two hours, and then you'll see here that it's there's there's that event. Um, I'm going to do two more things here. Uh, one, I want to show you that uh, by default, it's going to be using the, the first calendar in your list in iCal. Uh, I'm going to switch that to another one that I have. And this will be persistent now, too. So um, every time you start the you start your computer up, uh, it'll, it'll keep that setting. So I'm going to say, you know, jogging uh, Thursday from 6 a.m. for 90 minutes. I guess you could say, you know, Thursday at 6 a.m. for 90 minutes. Both of those would work. Um, so it's created the event. I come back here and I look for it, and there it is. And you can see that it's on a different calendar. Um, another thing, too, so I said this one was on Thursday. I could specify, you know, jogging next Thursday at 6 a.m. and create so it knows to jump out another Thursday in advance. Another thing that's sort of uh, interesting about that one is I didn't specify an end time, but I specified a start time. So by default, um, it's just going to create an hour-long event. Uh, one of the, the next versions of this application I'll be creating allows you to uh, define what the your default uh, time frame should be So for those kind of events. Uh, more to come. Uh, keep keep looking at the web page. Thanks.